First, you're going to go to the GitHub page linked in the description and download setup.exe. Now put it into a folder and run it. Now you're going to get yelled at by smart screen here, so click more info and then run anyway. Uh, this is a trusted program, you don't have to worry about that. And once it's done and says installation verified, you can close out of the installer and launch aatool.exe. It will pop up these two windows. You can just close out of the change log or click don't show again, and then click settings in the bottom left to open up the configuration page. On the tracking page here, keeping everything at the default will usually work. If it doesn't for some reason, you can manually set your version though. On the application page here, you can customize how the main screen works. You can change how much info is shown, what info is shown, give yourself a nice theme if you want. On the overlay page, this is what's going to actually show up on your OBS, so you want to tick the enable overlay window and it'll pop up the familiar scrolling icons you see. I like to change the green screen to magenta because I think it works better and it reduces some possible visual bugs you might have. So click here, pick the color magenta, and then click the copy hex button. Now add a window capture in OBS, select the stream overlay aatool.exe option. Now right click the new source, select filters, add color key, and then pick magenta from the drop down here. Now you can customize your tracker here, change the direction it scrolls, change the theme, whatever you want. Some things to keep in mind, if part of the window goes off screen it may glitch up a bit, so avoid doing that. You should also avoid transforming the capture on OBS as that may introduce some color artifacting. If you do do that though, a simple reset transform will fix it. With that in mind, you're ready to start tracking your advancements and enjoy yourself some AA runs.